Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This one's just going to be super short um, because I have been asked so many times while doing this piece how I am doing the whiskers. Um, I'm not sure if you can see from this angle but uh, on her forehead she's got a few little whiskers that um, are really white. I get asked this question all the time, how I do my whiskers. Um, this is the way I have done it since I started. It is a way that has proved really good for me and it suits my technique and it suits um, how I blend with the zesty. I still manage to keep my whiskers nice and white. So this is gonna just show you how I do it, my preferred method. <laughs> so I would usually have the camera above the drawing but Nikki is so large I can't put my camera on my, I can't put my tripod on my desk at the same time. <laughs> um, Yes, yeah, so I've done. I've got my outline, and I'm just going to lightly erase. Um, I was working on her cheek, so I'm just lightly erasing the areas, and I'm going to take out this whisker that's here as well. She has lovely long whiskers. So okay, so once I've erased my lines, I'm going to take my embossing tool. So. This is the one I have. I don't know if it wants to focus. Probably not. But this is the one I have. It just has a tiny, tiny little ball on the end of it. I'm hoping you can see it. There we go. It's just got a tiny ball on the end. And I take that, I press it into my paper and draw it across. So it will leave a small dent in the paper which will then stop the pencils from going into the groove. So I'm just going to find the light outlines I left of her whiskers. I've got my reference next to me as well just to make sure I'm putting them in the right place. Press quite hard and I'm just going to drag them out and then flick off at the end. The flick at the end means it tapers off so it isn't such a blunt finish. So I'm just going to find the next one, pressing really hard and then flicking off at the end. She's also got a few over here which go up in like a, there's quite a hairy patch kind of. So I do this with any white hairs and only areas that I want to keep really really white when I'm working. Um, it's nice to just have a few spots that remain completely white. So again, I'll show you another one. So I'll just erase her whisker, take my pencil, well, my embossing tool, press quite hard and just drag it and then flick out at the end. So I'll move the camera and see if you can see. Yeah, there we go. You can see the dents in the paper just here. So you can't see them on the whole piece, but if I tilt the paper, you can just see those light dents just there. So keeping those really white will do the same as they have up here and just kept the area really, really white. And I can draw over the whole area and not worry about the colours going in the gaps and losing my white bit. So yeah, this is Nikki. She is a <laughs> commission I'm working on at the minute um, and her owner asked for her to be purple, so that's why she's purple. But anyway, that's just a super quick tutorial of how I do whiskers and how I keep things white. Um, at the end of a piece, I will tend to go over and add fine detailing with a Prismacolor white, a Luminance Buff Titanium pencil, and then also for the really, really white bits I want, I will go over again with the um, brush and pencil titanium white powder and add in fine details, which I will probably do another video on since my other one I did <laughs> right when it first came out. So I may do another video on that. But anyway, I hope you've liked this video. If you have, please give it a little thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.